Hi everyone, my name is Leanne and today I'm going to be sharing with you my July TBR, so the books that I would like to prioritise reading in July. I think July is going to be a pretty hectic month for me, so I don't know how much reading I'm going to get done, whether I'll get as much done as I normally do in a month, um, but these are just some of my plans going into the month. If you've seen one of my TBRs before, you know that they're pretty chilled out. Um, I don't put a huge amount of pressure on myself to read the books on my TBR, but having an idea of the books that I'm going to be reading soon has been a structure that I found really helpful for my brain and every month I pick out books from particular categories so anyway let's just get into the books. Every month I like to pick up a non-fiction book and in July I would like to read I Am I Am I Am by Maggie O'Farrell. Maggie O'Farrell is predominantly a fiction writer and I've never read any of her fiction before um, but I'm really really drawn to this memoir. It is about her 17 different brushes with death. It sounds like a really intriguing one. Every month I also like to pick up a poetry collection and the poetry collection I'm going to prioritise reading is Insomnia by John Kinsella. If you watched my Try a Poem tag a while back you may recognise this book. This is one of the books that I didn't choose um, but it was like really really close between like three of the poetry collections I read a poem from. So I thought I would pick up this one in July instead and this seems like a collection that has so many different topics going on in it. From the human imagination to art, music, the natural world and philosophy. It seems like there's a lot crammed in here so I'm really looking forward to getting into it. Every month I also like to read a classic and in July I would like to read The Secret Agent by Joseph Conrad. I read The Heart of Darkness by Joseph Conrad last year and I didn't like it um, but I would like to give his writing another go and the plot of this one seems like it's a lot more up my street. It's about terrorism and espionage in 19th century London and it is about a plan to blow up the Greenwich Observatory. And this one is inspired by an event that actually happened so that's really intriguing. Every month I like to pick up a short story collection and in July I'm going to be reading Jellyfish by Janice Galloway. I picked this up in any amount of books when we were on the booktuber meetup. You know when you just feel yourself really really drawn to a book when you see it on the shelf even just by the spine? I was so drawn to this one and when I read um, the blurb I was just so invested in it. This is a collection of 16 short stories that explore things like sex and sexuality but also things like parenthood, relationships and dealing with death and grief. I've heard it's a really poignant collection of stories and on the back it is compared to Sylvia Plath so I am really excited for this one and I have quite high expectations going into it. Every month I also try and do something called tops and bottoms and by this I mean that I read a book from the top of my TBR, so a book that was featured in my most recent book haul and a book from the bottom of my TBR, so a book that was in a video I did a while ago about the 12 books that have been on my TBR the longest. And the book I've chosen from that list of books to read in July is The Accidental by Ali Smith. I think Ali Smith is probably one of my most read authors. I've read quite a few of her books and this one has been on my TBR for ages because I got it when I was really binging through a lot of her work and I ended up getting a little bit fatigued from it. Like I think I indulged in too much in too short a time so this one ended up sitting on my shelf for ages and I think it's about time that I got around to it. I don't really know anything about the plot of this one but I can imagine it has some political undertones and it's in a very literary style just because of what I know from Ali Smith's writing already. The book I've chosen from the top of my TBR so book that was in my most recent book haul is Lanny by Max Porter. Now this is a proof edition, the final cover does not look like this, um, but I loved Max Porter's previous work, um, Grief is a Thing with Feathers. It was one of my favourite books in the year that I'd read it. Um, and so I'm so excited for this one. I was absolutely buzzing when I found out he was bringing out something new. Again, this isn't one that I know a huge amount about. I know it is about searching for this boy Lanny. Um, it's I think it's quite a mysterious book in that you don't really know what it's about until you go into it and it's told in quite an experimental way as well. But it is one of those books that I've heard nothing but good things about so I'm really excited to see if I agree with all those reviews that I've heard. 
And finally, every month I like to select a book using a random number generator and the book that was chosen this month is One More Chance by Lucy Ayrton. This is about a woman named Danny who has made some very bad choices in her life and she is now in prison. Her daughter is now growing up in foster care and Danny is desperate to get out of prison and be reunited with her. Danny has a new cellmate named Martha who seems rather quiet and unassuming, but Martha then offers her an opportunity which may see her be able to get out of prison. And it's about how Danny's story continues on from there. I've not read a story from this kind of perspective before, so I'm really intrigued to see what it is like. I don't know a huge amount about women's prisons. So there we are. These are the books that I'm going to prioritise reading in July. Do let me know if you've read any of these and share what you thought of them. Or let me know which book is on your July TBR that you're most excited to get to. I hope you guys are doing really well and I will talk to you in my next video.